Hello, this is Tov from Traffic Production with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this Quick Tip, I'm going to show you how you can zoom into your model in Blender to work on the inside of a model. Now, I've showcased this before in other tutorials, and I'll leave a link of those as thumbnails in this video. Uh, but it's another way to do it in Blender. Now, I'm using Blender 2.82. Use any version of Blender. I think it applies to every version. Uh, but we're going to get rid of this cube because we don't want to use this cube. For the example, we want to use something more, uh, I guess, challenging. So let's press delete on our keyboard. Delete. And then Shift A. And then we're going to go to Mesh. Uh, let's do that again. Mesh. And click on Monkey. We have Suzanne there. I'm scrolling up on the mouse wheel. We're going to make Suzanne look a bit more presentable. Let's left click on our modifier properties, add modifier, subdivision surface, W, shade smooth. Now in Blender, uh, to pivot, you hold on your middle mouse button, but I'm going to zoom in by scrolling up on my mouse. It gets to the point where you scroll up, you want to work on the inside, you can't scroll up anymore. You've reached the limits. The way you can fix that to zoom in on your model is go to the tool tab and click on view. And then crank up your clip start. Left click and drag over here. As you can see, it looks like Susanna disintegrating, but she's actually, we're actually zooming into her uh, right now. Now we can see the inside of Suzanne, Suzanne just pivot around with her mouse to see around on the inside of her. And to work on the inside of her or any kind of mesh in Blender, just press tab on your keyboard. And then Z so you can get a better perspective of what you're working with. Now at this point in time, it looks like Suzanne has a double mesh on the outside, which she doesn't. The reason why she looks like this is because of the fact we haven't applied the sub -sub subdivision service modifier. So let's get up edit mode by pressing tab again. And then we're going to press apply and then go back into edit mode again by pressing tab. And now we can see a cleaner, cleaner, clearer mesh. If we want to modify anything, let's go to face select, A to D select, left click on a uh, part of the mesh and G the grab. And click on any part of the inside of her and work on any and anything on the inside of her and that's how you can zoom into blender in terms of working on the inside of a mesh inside of blender and that was today's quick tip i hope it was helpful for those of you who have been watching or who have watched and i really appreciate you guys who subscribed in the past those of you who are subscribing now and those of you who will subscribe in the future really appreciate it and i'll see you guys on the next one All right adios